So then now we're going to go on to part two, which is how to create the bookshelf. So I'm going to take this and kind of set it aside for now. We'll move it back here in a little while. Okay, so we're going to do a long, tall, narrow rectangle. And I'm going to change the color to 198. 127, 62, and then going to add an ellipse on top. That looks like that. And then take the rectangle tool, hold down my shift key. Hold down my shift key. And then I'm going to try to rotate. Nope, it didn't work. Hold on, I got to zoom in on it. There we go. Okay, so if you hold on your shift key, hit rotate once, it'll rotate it. Okay. So then it should kind of look like that. And then we're going to take our direct selection tool and zoom on in. Top anchor point. Um, and then if I use my arrow key, it'll do that. That's how you create that. Zoom back out. So it should look like that see it matches okay so then i'm going to select this do shift alt let's see sometimes when you do that it kind of unselects things and it's hard to get it to there you go. Move. Okay. And then we're going to create some shelves. Doing a long rectangle there. And then hold on my sh shift alt. There we go. And then do control D. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I can select them. Move them down just a little bit. So obviously there's not enough space between here if I have this much room. Um, so I can try it again. Hold on that shift alt. This one's kind of a try and try, try again. And then I'm going to draw a darker rectangle behind the back of the bookshelf. Okay. 
That one's going to be 147, 85, 43. And I'm going to right click, do a range, send it back. And then line this up. There we go. And then going to take some rounded rectangles to create this pattern up here. See, I'm making them smaller and smaller as I go up. There we go. Okay. Set that pattern down there. And now we have a bookshelf. You see there? That's roughly how it looks. And then part three is going to be next, which is how to create the books. So we're going to start with a rounded rectangle. Going to change the color to 232. 218, 191, and then let's see, we'll make the right side of the books um, overlap with a rectangle of any color while keeping these two selected, press the minus front, that it's going to create that. Okay, so I'm going to select a rounded rectangle. This can be any color. Have them both selected. Minus front, that's going to give that edge there. It's going to be our pages. Okay. And then I'm going to do control C, control B. We're going to give this one a thick blue stroke, 109, 187, 194, 
going to go to just to click on it. Object expand. Click OK. Put that back there just to show you all. And then I'm going to get our rectangle tool again. Could be any color. that one selected minus front that's gonna create that might be a little too much there so I'll move it over just a little bit there we go okay Finally, add two tiny rectangles as shown below to complete the book. And so, it's basically saying to take little rectangles and make sure they line up with our book. I'm going to unite them. It doesn't say to do that, but I'm going to do that so that it creates one. It's easier to mess around with that. Okay. Create a few more books by changing the fill color. Feel free to play around with the sizes. So let's see. We have one. I'm going to copy and paste. And reflect that one. And then this one, I'm going to change the color to 75, 151, and 113. And then this one's going to be Two twenty nine, seventy six, and seventy six. There we go. And then you can go and create a bunch more. Um, basically, to mimic this, um, you can go ahead and try to match these. Or you can make your own. It doesn't really matter. I'm not going to grade you on whether or not they match exactly. But you do have to create this many books. And I will be back once I have those made as well. When we get back, I'm going to have these loaded up here on the bookshelf. And you can stack them up however you want. And we will start back with part four.